Study claims watermelon leaves work better than metformin. How? We'll talk about it. Hey there, my diabetic health enthusiasts. Ever look at a watermelon and think, hey, you're just a big bowl of sweetness, aren't you? Well, get ready because today, I, me and myself, Dr. Ergen, your endocrinologist, will talk to you about ditching the sweet, juicy fruit and going for the leaf. Yes, you heard me right. We are talking watermelon leaves, the unsung heroes of watermelon world. The new research says that the, these little green wonders might just be the next big thing in the diabetes world. So put your seatbelts because I'm gonna get you dive in into the sciencey stuff. It turns out that these leafy wonders can do some serious damage control on biochemical parameters and structural changes in your kidneys, your liver. They're all associated with diabetes, right? In a surprising twist, they were even more effective than metformin, a common diabetes medication. So what is the takeaway? In a first-of-its-kind study, this data showed that the watermelon leaf extract could give a serious one-two punch to those pesky diabetes changes. This means we might soon see watermelon leaves invading our grocery aisles, not an exotic salad ingredient, but as a functional food ingredient. Maybe we will put in our nutraceuticals in our supplements as well, so we are working on that right now. Who knew that the secrets to managing diabetes could have been hiding in the shade of those juicy watermelons all along, right? Well, stay tuned for more updates as we continue to explore the wacky world of health and wellness. I'm on your side. So next time you see a watermelon, remember, thank not just the juicy fruit inside, but also it is leafy green protector. Keep calm and have a slice or two, not too much. But wait, there is more. As if controlling diabetes wasn't enough, watermelon leaves are also being touted as potential remedy for high blood pressure, right? What's your blood pressure? The normal blood pressure is 120 over 70. If yours is higher than that, do something about it. Sometimes people ignore that, and that's not good. Studies have shown that the watermelon leaf extract can increase the nitric oxide levels, which in turn relaxes blood vessels and lowers the blood pressure. So not only are we getting a delicious summer treat, but also a natural way to keep our hearts healthy. Remember the leaves, not just the fruit. Before you start chomping down watermelon leaves, make sure to consult with your doctor first. You know, who knows? if your doctor knows anything about holistic medicine or functional medicine, by the way. But watermelon leaves seem to hold a lot of promise. We definitely need more research to fully understand its effect on the body and potential interactions with anything. But let's be real. It is food. Yeah, it can't be too hot, right? It is food. It is just the leaves, though, that might not taste as good as the juicy slice of a watermelon. But it's worth considering. Maybe making a tea or doing something with it, right? But there you have it, folks. Interesting news for you. The leafy green superstars hidden within your beloved watermelon might just hold the key to your better health. Who knows? Maybe one day we will see watermelon leaf smoothies or salads as a common menu item at our favorite restaurants. Until then, let's keep an eye out for any new developments and continue to appreciate watermelon in its all forms, including the fruit, the leaves, and everything. Now, comes a million dollar question, where on the earth can you get your hands on the watermelon, right? Or watermelon leaves, not the watermelon, of course, because they don't sell the leaves. Well, hold on to your hands because this is going to be interesting. If you have a green thumb or fancy yourself as a bit of a gardener, why not? You could try growing your very own watermelon plant. There's nothing like the satisfaction of plucking fresh leaves from your own backyard. And you get the bonus of that juicy watermelons too. 
If that sounds like too much work, well, fear not, because you can often find the watermelon leaves at local farmers' markets or Asian grocery stores. And if they don't display it, ask them. Maybe they have it and somewhere in the back in the store. Sometimes they're also available in the form of extracts or even supplements, right? We don't have it yet in SugarMDs.com, but maybe you can find it from an online retailer you trust. Now, we know that you might be thinking, eh, if watermelon leaves are so great, does that mean that I can gobble down the whole watermelon? Eh, hold your horses because the watermelon indeed is a tasty, great treat, is also very high in natural sugars. So you have to control your portions and be moderate. A typical serving size for a watermelon is right around a cup of diced pieces. So for that reason, instead of going buying the whole watermelon, right, go to Publix or a local store, buy those nicely diced pieces in a small cup and share it with someone. That way you know your limits. So yes, you can still enjoy the juicy watermelon. I'm not prohibiting it but don't go overboard. Now, if you'll excuse me, all this talk of watermelon has given me quite the cravings for a refreshing summer salad. So I'm leaving. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.